Hello everyone, Wanda here. Live tonight, we're going to do a Be The Light for the upcoming July 3rd Drop A Rock Day. Be The Light is the focus of that day, so I thought uh, we could try this. Can you guys hear me? If you can hear me, will you let me know? Hi, Julie, can you hear me? This is a new setup and I'm testing the sound real quick. Anybody, can you hear me? I might have to jump off and come back on. Yes, you can hear me. Okay, good. Okay, I'm going to unmount and I'm going to show you guys something really exciting. The foil, oops, sorry. The foil came, so this is going to be kind of a busy little walk here. Messy too, so... Here's the desk. Now you guys get a view of my crazy setup. <laughs> desk. Crazy desk. Yeah, scary. Anyways, this is the foil setup right here. Can you see the bar? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 rolls of foil. So I'm going to come in on it. Sorry, that camera's right there. So I'm going to come in on it so we can see what we got here. So we have the circle, we have the like fireworks, the small crushed glass, the large crushed glass, a clear holographic, um, this one I call laser, <laughs> sorry about the focus, I'm not sure how to zoom in or out yet, I'm learning on this one, what's this one, oh the stars and you see that um, this is a more uh, clear late I'm sorry just a clear um, holographic one is kind of more opaque than the other there's a rose gold a gold and a silver and these two are really fun holographics so all 11 of these are included in the five dollar pack of foil that I have for grabs um, they're going to be 100 centimeters long. So, oops, sorry about that again. Anyways, here's the station. I'll be setting them up, and this is what a finished pack will look like. It's going to be all folded together and then added to an envelope, a regular envelope, and sent out like that. So if everybody's okay with that, then we can make this work. I think we're going to have a good thing here because these are pretty amazing foils. If you didn't notice, they are the large wide ones, the really wide. Those are four centimeters wide versus the two and a half of the regulars. So these are the really wide foils. So you're already getting double that way. Anyways, I'm going to bring you back over to the crazy desk so that we can do some fun stuff. Also, before I get started tonight, I really, really, really have to say a great big huge thank you uh, to each and every one of you. I get so much joy out of seeing you guys interact and support each other. It provides me with lots and lots of motivation to keep sharing and changing and exploring new mediums for the group. And I want to say wholeheartedly thank you to the several people who have contributed so much lately to the group and your generosity leaves me speechless and I'm so grateful. And I also want to say thank you so very much to our amazing admin team who behind the scenes um, volunteers countless hours um, you know it takes a whole village to make this thing run smoothly so thank you so much everybody thank you thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart we all thank you your gifts are very very generous and very appreciated all right I want to work on be the light tonight we have a Be The Light drop coming up July 3rd, and Miss Katie Thompson is uh, doing a fun uh, 
contest. Well, not a contest, but a giveaway. Anyways, all you got to do to enter is be the light, make a rock and post it under Katie's post. I'll link that up in the post for tonight when I post this live to the Facebook page at Creative Rock Art and Foil Techniques over on Facebook for my YouTubers. Um, so I haven't really planned this out. I just got it on the rock. I have no idea where I'm going to go with it, but we're going to go together. So we'll have fun with it. Hello, let's see who I got here. Hi, Julie, Kathy, Lonnie, Katie, Matt, Lori. Hello, everyone. Okay, so I'm going to start off by lining. And I'm going to, I know I have my Posca here somewhere. Would you guys believe I lost it? I just had it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so brush lining tonight. I was going to use my um, Lowell Cornell, but I am not. I have the shakes tonight, so we'll see. Anyways, the uh, this is the Dollar Rowney black ink. Can you guys see okay? Hi, Pam. So I am just using a liner brush and this a fine line brush that has been cut down. It's the Rachel Mitchell technique, which Rachel on her channel, on her YouTube channel, uh, Rachel Rocks Canada, she has a great tutorial on how she makes these brushes. And these are the Meaden. So totally not my technique, but a wonderful one. So I am just lining around my light bulb. I'm just going to get my image onto my rock. Hi, Shay. So I am going to foil this tonight. I'm not going to make it 3D. I <laughs> thought I'd give you guys a break. Um, but I will be doing a lot more with the 3D stuff. I just love it. It's uh, I'm really, really enjoying the technique. So who else making it be the light? Rock. I know Lori did and I think Lonnie did. And Kathy. Oh my goodness. Oh, Shay made one too. Pretty sure I saw Shay's. So I'm going to um, make the flowers pretty simple and um, pretty basic. I don't want to get too carried away with this one. This one is going to go to my local electric company, right? I'm going to drop it on their counter. They are called GVEC and they are working on a terrific um, save electricity program. I forgot what they called it. Anyways, they're working on solar panels and um, solar supplied electricity. Oh, thanks, Lonnie. Lonnie says she might make one after this video. That is so kind. So happy Father's Day. 
if it applies and happy Father's Day to all the single mothers out there. You're doing a fantastic job being a mom and a dad. So shall we use the, I think I want to stay with watercolor, so let's think. Do we want to use, I gave away my neon palette and haven't <laughs> made another one yet, so I can't use that one, but I do have the watercolor pencils, the woodless watercolor pencils, and the Chromatech, oops, and I also have the alcohol ink uh, markers. Oh, hoo hoos. <laughs> Isn't that a funny name? Oh, hoo hoo. Oh, I love that. That's good. You are the light. Oh, maybe I'll change that. <laughs> Can I steal your idea, Lonnie? That's so good. I better keep it this way for Katie's. Uh, post be of the light what is the bible verse Matthew I'm sorry oh Lori this is your neck of the woods which uh, bible verses be the light from Matthew something By 14. Thank you. So when you're making your rocks, you can, or you don't have to, it just, you know, depends on what your religious beliefs are. You can add that in or leave it off. This group believes that everybody has the right to uh, voice their own, you know, whichever way they believe. So be the light however you want to be the light. Just be happy. When I'm lining, I kind of hold my brush up and down. I don't know if you can see that. Has that been focusing in and out like that this whole time? I don't never know where to put this thing so that it's not. That doesn't help anything, does it? I will learn. I promise it's going to take me a minute to get used to this new camera, but it I think it's so much clearer. What do you guys think about that? Hi, Candace, and hi, Susan. You guys heard that, huh? Just a second. Goodbye. Shh, be quiet. Okay. Misty's going to Florida soon. Wait, come back. What did it say? Oh, <laughs> you guys are so sweet. I missed that whole conversation. That is so, so sweet. Well, if I ever get to Florida, we'll definitely have a group tutorial for sure. Just have a paint off. We can all join and paint together. Wouldn't that be fun? I'm trying to find me in the feed over here. I 
can never there again. Okay. Big arm. <laughs> Except for I can't see your comment. There they are, okay. So that is about um, five to 15 seconds delayed. I guess for me being able to see your comments. We are so close to starting to put some color in here. So I'm thinking about, uh, you know, like a light bulby yellow in the background. And then um, I'm really into pink flowers lately. I don't know. Boy, this does look so good. I'm looking at it on my um, other, on my monitor, and I think it looks pretty clear. Ooh, I think rhinestones, too, for the flower. the centers of the flowers. All right, for Be The Light, I'm gonna get risky here, hopefully. Let me see if my hands are working. <laughs> I worked in the office today for 11 hours, but I was trying to set up the foil station because I'm really excited. The foils are beautiful and I can't wait for you guys to play with them and you know I do 90% of my tutorials with that clear foil so anyways my hands got tired <laughs> but I want to paint <laughs> so, okay you know what I'm gonna wait just a few minutes and let this black dry so we're gonna do some color let's use chromatech And I'm going to start with lemon yellow back here. Ooh, that's nice and bright. Maybe not keep it so bright. Take some water <laughs> with another brush pin. And blend this out here. This brush pen is a generic one that came with, um, I think this is the one that came, the Chromatex come with brush pens, so I think it comes with two or three different ones. Just a little bit of water. Oh, the video froze? Oh, it's still going in my... Uh... Can you guys see me? Lonnie's got 
it said it froze. Sorry, that was <laughs> me checking if, I didn't know if Lonnie says to go out and come back in. No, Julie was telling Lonnie to go out and come back in. So here I am over here going out and coming back in with my hands. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a day. Too funny. Matt, are you still on with this? Goodness, I almost put my brush in my black ink. <laughs> so we would have changed to be the dark, be the night. Not be the light, be the night. Okay, just kind of creating a little bit of depth here. Bulb look. Okay. We got our shine on. So let's start with some lighter colors here in these flowers. about this. This is a uh, heron blue. The other one was light pink. I just love these two blend together. It reminds me of, I know it's summer, but it reminds me of spring. Less hot days. <laughs> Misty, these are Chromatech watercolor brush pens. That was uh, Heron Blue with light pink for the flower, and we get this pretty lavender kind of color. Eh, maybe not lavender. It's like a, what is that? Periwinkle or hydrangea blue. <laughs> Persian green. That's a little blue. I don't know. Let's see. Oops, I forgot one. You're welcome, Misty. I think I'm going to put a little bit of vermilion, yeah, strange, but just a bit around the, bring that.
Okay, let's see. Uh, Persian green. Grass green. light bulb down here blue gray for the for the uh, the screw in parts you know the what would that be what are those called the threads Whew. don't tell my husband <laughs> he'd be so disappointed that's all I need here we go. Just gray. For behind it. And then, actually I'm going to use that blue gray also. Back in here. You know, I'm having a thought. I'm going to take the Persian green and add some grass. No, I'm not. I'm gonna gotta get something crazy darker. Bottle green. Maybe that'll work. Yeah. Okay. Back to gray for in between the threads. So when I'm using these uh, pens, the Chromatec pens, on the Santorini, the bare Santorini rock, I'm touching with the tip of the pen. I'm not um, like pressing down. So I'm barely touching it so that the color, because the color will spread out. See how the grass spreads out? kind of it bleeds it bleeds out so you want to give it an opportunity to grow so don't go like all the way to any edge and then if you need to go back in and add more you can do that but that gives you uh, room to grow I was just kind of figuring that out uh, yesterday that um, you know they kind of bleed out a little bit so you want to allow them give them their space their space hogs all right I'm gonna go out, uh, black and just put in some you know little shading and shadow All right, let's see how I can, let's see how I get on here with this ink and writing. Cross your fingers. <laughs> can you see?
not too bad. That's okay, Shay. Granddaughters are, you know, definitely priority. <laughs> oh, Lori, thank you. Okay, here we go. This is, the ink is Dollar Rowney. This is black and it's acrylic ink. It's the kind you use in fountain pens, calligraphy, um, some art. You can use it in airbrushes. The magic is the pen. It's a brush pen. This is a aquash brush by Pentel. I don't like to put water in here. That's my preference because I'm very firm gripped and it just makes water leak everywhere but I love the point on this and the way it I can control this brush really well the grip I have arthritis and some other problems that cause my fingers you know to not be at their best <laughs> so this is really helpful to me plus that tip I mean that is a perfect point like a needle point and that's important when you're doing hand lettering. I am not a hand lettering pro. I'm definitely still learning. So this is a, uh, you know, nerve wracking. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> See? But somebody who can hand letter really, really well is Shelly. Uh, Clarkson or Clark. Shelly Santorini stones by Shelly. She is beautiful hand lettering and she has many, many, many different tutorials on her YouTube and I'll also link that up there. So the thing with hand lettering, the basic rule is um, thick downstroke, thin upstroke. So when you're going down, you want to press harder and give it a firmer downstroke so that it makes your line thicker. And then when you come up, barely apply any pressure. And then when you come down, you apply more pressure. And then up is barely any. Down is more. Thank you, Pam. Oh, you guys are so sweet. All right. I'm not going to fuss with it because I have a tendency to mess it up if I touch it. <laughs> so that is the painting. We're going to call that done. And I'm going to do some foil, of course, you know, because because I can't live without doing some foil. <laughs> I need to find a pen. That works. I have five Poscas right here and not one of them is cooperating. 
and it's not their fault. That's my fault. <laughs> I'm awful to them. All right. Here we go. I'm going to do it the old fashioned way again. Brush and ink. I just need to sign it <laughs> and then do the foil. See, I should have left it alone. All right, stop. <laughs> uh, I do, I will also, did I post that anywhere? I don't think I've posted it yet. Nope, I will link that as well. I'll put it in the photos on the post <laughs> when I upload. After we're done, All right? Let me move stuff. I'm changing gears here to foil, light glue, and the brand new foil. So you guys want to see those? Okay, I'm gonna get each one out, and we're gonna look at them. And these are the ones that are coming. They're already here. These are the ones that um, are available. And um, I'm gonna be putting them in these sleeves. Um, they'll all come in one though, instead of three different ones, because I found out it's better for them if we pack them all together than to separate them. So it's less damage. I don't particularly like to fold them, but you know, the box and shipping was uh, not an option right now. So I can't find boxes, the big ones that'll fit these even, you know, the four centimeter, the big large boxes to buy in bulk. So we're gonna deal with it. Okay, so this is a full transparent clear will be the best way to show these. Let me see here. Get a black. This is my pack so I can make a mess of them. <laughs> so don't you worry. Okay, so we've got this, the clear transparent holographic. You see that? Okay. And Next up is our discs, circles, bubbles. Aren't they gorgeous? But see, if you look at the size there, I'll show you the difference in the size. So here's the ones you get in the kit, the pack that we've been buying, right? So they are pretty much the same foil, right? But this one, do you see it's twice the size? So I think that right there is just, oh my gosh, amazing. I've noticed too that these are a little, not a lot, but just a little bit um, better, like in quality, that's possible. They're the easiest to use in, out of all the foils. These transparent ones are so easy. And then the 
starburst or what do you guys call these fireworks can you see them What do you think do with the totally clear? Well, um, I use it on water, water drops, um, the light bulb I was thinking of, but I actually might use that um, fireworks one that I just showed. There's um, a lot of times I'll use it in addition to another foil, like if I really want a holographic um, background, like a shiny, sky or something I like to use the clear for that here's the small crushed glass these are so beautiful <laughs> and here is the stars I just love this foil too it's like big stars little stars and littler stars <laughs> And this is beautiful for skies, also like night skies. You can put it over black. And then this one I call laser. It's kind of like a bunch of pixels, like polka dots. And this one is in place of, because I could not find this one. This is the only one that I couldn't find so uh, well, these were plentiful but they're used the least and you can get these in the boxes like this there's still I think there's two or three companies that are still selling the transparents but they're mainly these these like oil slick and gas spill looking ones which there is a place for those but they're the ones that are used the least so I chose to skip those All right, and then the large crushed glass. And this one is a more opaque transparent. So the way I would use the two different ones, let me grab the other one. Where did it go? There it is. See, one's like more rainbowy and one's like totally clear. Can you guys see the difference? So like this one I would use for a background that I only wanted it to be holographic but didn't want to interfere with the color of the paint at all. And then this one um, will cause kind of a foggy effect. So if you wanted like a, a matte holographic look, this would be your one to go to. And then I also am including three metallics and these are fantastic transfer. So you know how I just don't love metallic. <laughs> so I found these three and they transfer like beautiful smooth beautiful transfer so I've got this cool silver look at that it's like mesmerizing isn't it <laughs> uh, it's like being hypnotized look at that cool effect okay silver gold sorry I'm gonna make you dizzy some more with the gold camera can't even focus on it and this one's like a rose gold coppery color holographic Isn't that beautiful yeah. all right so let's get to foiling so that's the 11 foils that will be included all of that that you just saw that this huge pile of foil all of these 
is what you're getting for five dollars all of this these huge lengths this huge pile so yay right who doesn't love a foil party look at that Okay, back to the light. Let's be the light. I'm going to use the fireworks. Sorry, the new foil on the light bulb. Oh, guys, also, hang on, I gotta show you. I found. Sorry, hang on. Well, I had it. Hmm. I see it. Okay, I found this box. I found a box at Walmart for a dollar that you guys can put your foils in when you get them. It's a 16 space, two sided, two compartment. This is what the tag looks like. It's in the jewelry making department, like the craft section where the jewelry findings are. So anyways, there are two sides it opens on both sides, okay? And each side has compartments. They're half size of our regular ones. See, this is the box I couldn't find, but so they're just pretty much the same size, but these are uh, big enough, these spaces are big enough to fit these in there. So if you, when you get your foil, you can roll them quickly with a pen. You can use a paint pen, a pencil, whatever. You just grab it like so. Make sure it goes under and then twirl it and it will just roll really fast that way. So once you roll them up, you're going to want to roll them into a little bit of a smaller roll. Then remove it from your pen, tuck in your ends like so, and pop it in your box. Now you have one, two, three, four. These two are bigger, but it still fits, you know, a foil in there. You could actually fit those two and a half centimeter ones. If you had some, you can fit two or three of them this way in here and make yourself a big set of your own foils that you love to use. So that, um, there's 16 spots in here. You can put lots of foil in there. And I'll be sending 11, so you only gotta find, what, five more? <laughs> All right, gloves on. Did I miss the question? I'm sorry. Isn't that great for a dollar at Walmart? <laughs> Can't beat that. Man, I shopped high and low for the best deal I could get on boxes to, you know, box these for you guys. And it just didn't make sense because if I do, if I pay like, you know, 50 cents, whatever, even 25 cents a box, it costs $8 to ship it. So yeah, it's better if I send it to you and you guys go buy your own box, right? Saves us all the moolah. Okay, I am using Beetle's Nail Art Foil Glue tonight. And I'm going to pour it into my dish. I'm really enjoying this. I can, it has a very faint odor, and if you don't put it close to you, you can't smell it. So I'm really loving that. 
Also a disposable eyeliner brush. You want to crack them when you first get them because they're very stiff. They'll still remain pointy. Uh, you just need to crack it so you can maneuver it. I'm going to bring my dish close here because I'm going to be using quite a bit back here. I'll probably have to get more glue. So I'm going to go around my light bulb and not on my flowers. Oh, you know what? I need to go over the flowers because the light bulb goes around them, doesn't it? All right, cool. That just easy peasy today, right? You know, you could just use it out of the bottle on this one. And I believe Kathy did hers with foil to be the light. They're very, very beautiful. If you want to see an example, Kathy and Lori both did some beautiful be the lights. There's a few up there, Shay, I think. Um, I haven't checked in today, so if somebody else has posted, I haven't seen yet. But find Katie Thompson's be the light post in our feed I put it in the announcements I believe also I marked it announcement all right and I'm going to torch that with my flame. To get my bubbles out. They're not my bubbles, but the bubbles. <laughs> Hi, Kelly and Rachel. Hi, Rachel, Mitchell, welcome. I was just telling everyone about your brush. The Meaden Rachel Mitchell Special. She trims out the hairs and makes this beautiful brush and she has the perfect tutorial for it. Everybody say hi. All right, so I'm gonna pop this in the light for one cycle. I'm gonna turn it sideways so that we can fit it in there. This is the MacArt 6 Watt. And one cycle on this little one, I believe, is 60 seconds. Because it's a bit wider, I'm also going to grab my little flashlight torch. This is a Talatronics uh, 12 UV LED flashlight comes in so handy for a spot curing especially on the new 3d stuff I'm doing to set the wings uh, so far I've had to use this to set them so that I can pop them into the large UV machine all right here we go with the fun part so I think I'm going to do it two this way. Make sure you have a little pair of scissors. These are dollar store, one dollar. Fussy cut scissors. <laughs> All right, so on these big ones, you can just um, use your fingers. On the smaller, intricate foils, you want to take a swab or a silicone tip tool and go around your edges to make sure they transfer. Nice. Beautiful. All right, so one, two, 
And I'm going to show you why I love these, you guys, so much. Because they're so forgiving, these transparent ones. Okay. So if I'm going to show you with this foil. <laughs> I'm just aesthetic. Can you see the foil that's left in there? These spots in here? That's foil that didn't transfer onto here. So if that was a full metallic, you would see every single one of those spots in here. But because it's not, it's perfect. <laughs> you can't see. See? Isn't that great? Look at that gorgeous. Hi, Rosanna and Karina. Kelly. So guys, that's my rock for tonight. I'm going to put some rhinestones in there. You guys think they should be round or what should I put in there? So I think I want to add them like in here and maybe one in here. I don't know. Maybe one over here. Little. I think I'll go with the rounds. What do you guys think? Thank you, Julie. This tool is, I call it a rhinestone grabber. <laughs> I don't know. It's a rhinestone picking tool, I believe. It's got a wax tip on it. And that is a gift from God. Y'all. So that one's going to go right there. You see that? And then... one here. Okay, I think that's all the rhinestones. Be the light. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and thank you so much for being so super duper supportive of Creative Rock Art and Foiling Techniques group and um, the YouTube channel. We're growing and having a good time and um, loving the mixed media. So if you guys have any suggestions or uh, requests for content, definitely let us know um, and we'll work on that. Katie Thompson has a YouTube channel, Shelly and Risa and Ruth. So we encourage all the teachers to post their uh, tutorials here. Rachel posts yours, obviously. Um, that's what we're about. We're a teaching group. So. This is the Tutorial Central. Post away. Okay, guys. I'll see you soon. Thank you, Julie.